Okay, so what I'm doing today is the new punk look. Um, I'm just going to take you through the, the cutting pattern of the hair. So we're slightly off centre here and taking two panels through the parietal bone area and clipping everything out of the way. Um, with the colour today, what I've done is I've used a tiara method, which you'll be able to see um, much closer when the hair comes down, using different um, tones of coppers, um, reds, red violets, and just working back to back across the head here, framing it in a nice tiara shape, which will work really nice with the haircut. With my first section, we are going to work all the way around the head on the parietal bone, okay? Taking everything up at 90 degrees and taking this weight out of here. This haircut is a very, as soon as you've got your cutting pattern in, it's a very simple haircut to do. Great effect and it's a very now look. Um, the whole new punk thing, which is really, really big on the streets just now, especially with designers like Christopher Kane, um, filtering right down onto Topshop and all the different high street stores, is a great look. Also, you've got a lot of the bands wearing this kind of look, Florence and the Machine. Um, it's a great, funky look. Okay, so we're coming to the back sections here. Again, everything up at 90 degrees and taking this corner out of here. All right, so, and you, sh you should get this nice shape coming down through the back here. So we're starting through the other side and exactly the same. So again, we're taking our sections up vertically. Not too much to take off uh, through the sides. We want to try and keep as much length as, as possible through here. Okay, so there is quite a lot of disconnection going on in this look, which you will see when we, we're going to move on to the top area very soon here. Again, I'm going to work this round for you. So when you're coming into the back area here, although you're pulling your section up vertically, do a slight over direction in this so as we can leave this point coming down through the back. Okay, and again, just taking that weight out here so you can see this shape starting to um, build up down through the back here. All right, now, so I want to start working through the top area. Now, you will start to see the colour will become really apparent now. You've got all these gorgeous tones coming through the hair here. As you can see, I've really went for copper tones and violet tones. And it's back to back, painted straight on to the scalp. Okay, so I'm going to turn this round for you so you can see this angle that I'm working at. Okay, so again, straight up at a 90 degree angle. And texture in this shape of. We want lots of texture in this haircut. This is what really makes it work and gives it that real punky look. What I would like to do as well is I would like to take my razor through the top here just to really break up on the texture. So again, you can see the shape 
Really starting to build up. Okay, so now we want to work. The, the great thing about this colour technique, this tiara colour technique, is as you're starting to um, cut the fringe into the haircut, all this comes over like a veil section. So you can use these colours in any shade if you wanted to have like more muted brown shades and tones or ashes or whatever you're... You can take it as natural um, or as dramatic as you would like to go with it. Okay. So I want to I wanna put a really arched shape through the front here. Cutting this on a slight angle is so as we are getting this really nice art shape. So you're slightly over directing here with the front into the middle to give you that really nice art shape. Okay, so again, just exactly the same on the other side. A slight over direction to give you the length that you need for your nice arch fringe. And what I want to do is I want to leave the fringe longer for that more kind of dramatic punk new punk look on this okay so through the sides now i'm going to release this length and this is where you, the haircut becomes your personal haircut because you personalize the weight and the texture and the length on the hair i want to keep as much length as i can through here so we are finishing this chapter just now and at the the next end of the chapter we'll show you the personalisation of the haircut and how you would dry this look. <laughs>